Hi guys, today's review is going to be one of the best, most special, most timeless classic scents ever guys. Baccarat Rouge 540 or 540. This is the fame piece of Francisco Jean. We all know he made um, Le Mal for Jean Paul Gaultier. We all know he has other classics like Oud Satin Mood. But to me and to a lot of people, this one is really his his pride pearl. This one is the one that made him who he is today. Even though he was already a very famous known perfumer in the industry. Looking at the bottle, it's the classic Francisco Jean bottle. But at the back side, you are getting this nice chandelier that you can look at it. And from the sides, you can see some kind of like reflection from the chandelier it's not there it's special it's very special i love the bottle the gold cap the smell from it just comes off so amazingly well um the extra it it will also be reviewed very soon i'm going to also do a comparison between the two both of them are amazing let me tell it right away this one came first this is the original baccarat the extra came later yeah very like ambery, very warm, candy-like, like cotton candy. In the air, it smells very cotton candy-like, very flossy. And I'm just going to do a small spray because this is just strong stuff, guys. Just one spray can last you all day. That should be a slogan. One spray can last you all day. Yeah, it's just amazing, amazing scent, guys. A lot of clones came out for this scent, but none of them come close to this one. It's really not a match, guys. You have to get the original one. You tell me. Like, I tell you guys, it, this is just the next level. In the air, this form feels very airy when you compare it to the extract. The extract is more thicker, more closer to the skin. This one forms a scent bubble around you. The most compliments I have gotten are from the EDP. Not from the extra, but from the EDP. You know why? because this one just lingers in the air it just stays for hours and hours guys it just goes on and it forms its own scent bubble around you whenever i have worn this one people have noticed believe me everywhere i went people have smelled me just the other day like a week ago somebody was next to me like a feet away and he was smelling the air and he said who is this and he came and smelled me from my neck and he said this is you and he told me what are you wearing i said this is baccarat rouge it was like interesting i don't i don't have never heard about it but yeah that's it a lot a lot of people know about it guys it's also because this is a scent that is niche people may have heard about it but not everybody is going to spend the money to get this one and even if you get the clone you're not going to get the same performance, you're not going to get the same sillage, and you're not going to get the identical same smell. That's for sure. You're going to be paying and you're not going to get the exact same product. You should choose quality over quantity and we're talking about money right now. So this one is really worth it, guys. Like price-wise, you could say, let me put it this way. If this one's uh, for the EDP, if this was like 400 euros, I would still pay it for a 70 ml because it's so good. Just look at brands like Roger Dove or Zerjov or even Creed right now. No, even though Creed is priced pretty well, although their performances aren't that well, but let's compare them to Roger Dove or uh, Zerjov. They charge an absurd amount of money, even though they have good sense, but they charge a lot for what they are selling compared to this. For 200 euros, dollars, pounds, you are getting an amazing scent, guys. This is just amazing. It really does come off like a cloud, cloud of like this candy-like cotton candy. Um, very ambery. I get that some people think that this smells like a pharmacy. When you enter a pharmacy, it has some kind of same thing that they share. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but I'm going to try try to find out what it is. It's pretty strong, guys, like, especially for women. It's a unisex sense, like men can wear it too, but I would say this leans more to the, to the women's side, but as a man, I wear it, I love it, guys. I can't pinpoint what it exactly is, but it's just amazing, guys. 
the amber gray you are almost not going to uh, s s uh, smell it it's mostly like a nice saffron jasmine combination but it's such a unique scent you can't just give like 10 notes out of it because yeah of course there is lots of ambroxone and, and uh, all kinds of stuff but this one is really a scent you have to appreciate and love and this one takes time i can give you an example i once wore this on a date and the girl did not like this one it was the only first first and last time uh, the only only experience where somebody said this is not a good scent like and guess what that girl was spraying men's perfumes she was spraying spice bomb on herself so we're not going to be talking about her own taste in, in fragrances but I'm going to be wearing this to every first date I'm going to go you know why because the woman that's going to be my half is going to be wearing Baccarat Rouge and if she likes it on me she will like it on herself this is just an amazing scent my goal is to buy this one for each and every one in my family for my mother for my sisters and um, my sisters don't appreciate this one they don't really like it they think it's very cloying very sweet they are not sweet toots but my mother she loves this one guys this is just a compliment guitar this is just a sillage bomb like if you stay around for like here if i stay here and after an hour i'll come back i'm sure i will be smelling baccarat rouge in the air guys and on clothing because of the aroma chemicals it just stays for hours guys this is the classic i will go and get a 200 ml bottle because you'll be paying around 300 euros dollars which is very good uh, per milliliter that you're going to be paying and should you be wearing this everywhere no you should not be wearing this everywhere i wear it sometimes at the office but i try to stop it because it's not worth it guys it's an amazing scent it should be kept for special occasions or you can you can make this one your signature scent but if you make this one your signature scent there is the possibility you will get very tired of it you know why because you can smell it very well you can grasp the scent very well you can it's always there it's not one of those scents that you spray on yourself and you can't smell yourself after an hour no this one you will be feeling it on your skin because it's so good it's a lot of synthetics we have got to be honest it's all synthetics this one but the work of art of francisco jean guys he works for francois uh, he works for dior right now replacing francois dimashi i see this being worn by everyone actually but not only uh, i'd say the only pair of people that shouldn't be wearing this one are like young men or young women around like 16 to 20 i would say even though you have like guys and girls that are very adult for their age i don't see it doesn't suit them very well this comes off more mature like an elegant lady wearing this one this this has to be dressed up i must say if you are going to be wearing just like skimpy clothes and just casual i don't think this one works very well this one just like you can look at the chandelier uh, the chandelier you can look at it it comes off very classy like the image everything is very well set for this one i love it guys who doesn't love getting compliments this is just a straight 10 out of 10 guys this is the top three of francis courgeon's scents ever and i'm going to be making a list of top three and top five scents of francis courgeon and maybe even a top 10 guys amazing fragrance guys and don't forget i'm going to be reviewing the extra too and i'm going to have a comparison video Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.